Welcome to our tutorial about logical operators. Here I've got two if statements. The second if statement is embedded in the first. Let's take a look at the logic of my code. If a equals 1, then if b equals 2, then my message box will display yes. If a is not equal to 1, then the message box will display no 2. If a equals 1 and b is not equal to 2, then the message box will display no 1. Let's run our routine and see how it works. My value is yes. Let's click OK. Let's change integer b to 3 and run our code again. And our response is no 1. OK. Double click to open the routine. Let's simplify our code a little bit. I'm going to incorporate the logical operator AND. I'll delete this part of the code. And the logic goes like this. If a equals 1 and b equals 2, the message box displays yes. If a is not equal to 1 or b is not equal to 2, the message box displays no. Let's run our code. And our answer is yes. Let's initialize integer b with a value of 3 and run our routine again. Our answer is no. Click OK. Double click to open the code. Another version of the AND operator is AND also. The logic works similarly to the AND operator. The only difference is that if the left hand side of the statement is false, the right-hand side doesn't get evaluated. This is called short circuit logic. Let's initialize integer a with a value of 2 and run our routine. The message box displays no. Let's click OK, open the code again. Another logical operator is OR. The OR logical operator works like this. If the left or right portion of the statement is true, or if they are both true, the message box displays yes. If the left and right sides of the statement are false, the message box displays no. Our variables are initialized, a with a value of 1, and b with a value of 2. Let's run our program and we have a value of yes. Let's make some changes. We'll change a to 10 and b to 20. Now the left and right statements are false. Let's run our routine and see what happens, and no is displayed. Click OK. Open the code. Another version of the OR statement is OR ELSE. The logic works similarly to the OR statement. What's different is that when condition 1 is true, the second condition doesn't get evaluated. Let's test our code. Yes, OK. Another version of the OR statement is XOR. Let me demonstrate the difference between the XOR statement and the other OR statements. If condition 1 is true, the second condition is true as well. The message box will display yes. With the X or statement, if the left and right conditions are true, the message box displays no. Let's try it out. And here's our result, no. Click OK. Open the code. 
The last logical operator we'll take a look at in this tutorial is NOT operator. This reverses the value comparisons produced. Let's take a look at an example. That'll be the easiest way to explain what it does. Run the code, and the message box displays no. If I add one more NOT operator, you don't need brackets here, by the way. Basically, the second NOT works like a double negative. The message box displays yes. Click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about logical operators.